Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relly and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to beat the Pure Vessel. The way I like to break down this fight is the Pure Vessel has four main attacks in the first like three quarters of the fight. He doesn't really change up his behavior and tactics until he gets to like the last third or so. In the very beginning, one of the attacks is the Shining Dagger. So the Pure Vessel will face a knight, raise a free hand, and shoot seven different daggers. You can kind of see which direction the daggers are going to go ahead of time. So if you're in the line of sight of the daggers, you can just dash out of the way or stay on the ground is usually the safest place to be during that attack. The second attack is the Triple Slash. The Pure Vessel will swing their nail three times. Each swing of the nail moves the Pure Vessel forward, covering about 33% of the area in total. The swings are wide that they can damage the Knight even if they are behind the Pure Vessel. You can use your Shade Cloak to get through the Triple Slash attack, but you don't want to leave yourself open to another attack. Whenever possible, just jump and down Pogo on this one. The third main attack is the Divining Light Lancers. The Pure Vessel will leap into the air or teleport, slam straight down into the ground, and then these nail columns will raise up from below. You really don't have a whole lot of time to move out of the way. You really have to move just slightly out of the way and also notice how the columns are a little bit wider on the bottom than they are on the top. It's usually suggested to jump so that way you have a little bit more room to play with on this one. So the fourth and probably most common attack is the lunge. So the pure vessel will teleport a short distance away before raising their nail and dashing towards the knight and the lunge will take up about 50% of the arena that you have available. So this one will get you from a decent way away and sometimes you can't even see it coming but usually you can see it coming and you'll be just fine. This is one where you also don't want to use your Shade Cloak if you can manage it, because otherwise you are not going to have your Shade Cloak up in time for whatever the next attack is going to be. Another thing that the Pure Vessel can do is the parry, and so the Pure Vessel will hold up its nail on guard. If you hit it in any way, shape, or form, it will then go ahead and lunge forward quite a ways away. So it's one of those ones where you have a chance to just chill whenever this parry is going on. Once the Pure Vessel has dropped below 50% of health, the new attack that will get added on is the Focus. And so the Pure Vessel will surround themselves with a circle of light and you've got to get out of the way very, very quickly. If you get to the very edge of the light, a lot of times that's a decent spot to heal. It's very rare that I take damage when I heal right here in this spot. And then also notice that it is going to cause a bunch of other little bubbles to show up and those will all explode dealing damage as well. So it's a very wide area of attack and also the Pure Vessel will come back and start attacking you very very quickly after this so always be on guard. Once the Pure Vessel gets down to 25% of health and is down to their final form if you will, the last attack that always seems to melt my brain is the Void Tendrils. So the Pure Vessel will lift up their cloak revealing a series of floating little Void Tendrils and then they will lash out towards your direction and it will cover about 60% of the entire area. It is really really hard to dodge. You have to jump up above the Void Tendrils, use your dash, and then you can down Pogo on the Pure Vessel. And this is a chance to do a little bit of damage. It's actually pretty nice. The other thing you can do is try and use your Desolate Dive for those invisibility frames. If you do end up taking damage, I highly suggest just using that chance to deal as much damage as you can to the Pure Vessel and just tank and use your invincibility frames after taking damage.
And just like that, we beat the pure vessel. Hopefully there's a tip or a trick or something that's going to make this fight just a little bit easier for you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I hope to talk to you again more soon.